aiding investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Monday, Monday the 11th of April. Uh, this weekend was really interesting because I was able to take the time while I'm, I'm preparing for the uh, webinar coming up on Wednesday for subscribers to my opening call. I just went through so many as uh, different stocks. I also, what I like to do sometimes is I like to do some just esoteric, uh, serendipitous things. I, I hit the keyboard to see whatever it comes up, whatever the letters are for the symbols. I uh, very often I go through the alphabet. Uh, a, we already own A, it was Agilent. B, which is Bonds Group. I mean, who would have thought that Bonds Group would be just plunging from the 48 area down to 36s? Um, C is City Core. Uh, it's just, it's fascinating. All right, so City Core, I didn't do all the notations because I've done many of the other bank stocks and just went on like that. And most, most importantly, what I, I discovered was that there are sectors, and look, this is city is in the financials, and if you put it together with the XLF, which is the S&P Select Financial Spider Fund, which is holding at the 200 period moving average, this is what I'm going to be talking about on, on Wednesday, just giving you really simple technical tools that you can just put on your program. Everybody has these things on the program. But the one thing that some people don't have is the ability to make an arch pattern. You don't have to make an arch pattern. You can make it like a V, go straight up and straight down or straight down, straight up. Um, you know, that's a possibility. There are all ways of overcoming that. But some of the techniques are going to be so so simple. Look, here's the E-mini, the five-minute chart. It makes those the uh, uh, the June contract, the IGO ESM22. Look, here it is. It makes a low at 23.50. So that's 11.50 last night. It makes a low. Uh, that's on the 11th. 11.50 couldn't have been last night. It was 11th. Today's the 11th. Uh, let's see. Uh, the 10th. And what happened was it goes to peak A, pulls back, makes a cup, an arch formation. What does it do? It tests exactly the left side low. So then it starts another move. This is like a restart. It doesn't mean to say if it took out by moves in 25 cent increments, if it went 25 cents lower, then you could not have called this a restart. It has to be a brand new buy signal. And the arrow, up arrow, I put in afterwards because you have to wait for the confirmation. But I did put it in. And now you've got peak A, a lower A, a lower A, and then finally goes to a leg B above the, the lowest A. And what's the Chapman Wave methodology? Looking for at least four higher peaks from a buy signal to upgrade it to a buy mode. That takes you to at least D. So what does it do? It goes to D. And you can see the 9 crosses the 14, the MACD is good, the cast, it goes over 20, 80%, and then whoops, it slips as it goes to that peak D. <clears throat> And it pulls back sharply. And then what happens is the stochastic gives you a nice reversal to the upside, the on balance volume, the blue line right there, holding very well. And it makes this little trough here in the MACD. And then it makes what I was anticipating would be, I call this the camel double hump um, failure pattern. I, I'm trying to get away from those nicknames because if you want to get respect in the world, you've got to use real terms. So this is a second arch formation in the m shape pattern, and it goes where? To the 200 period moving average. Did you have to think of that pink line at all? No, it, even at peak D, it didn't there. But then there was a sudden move up at about 3.30 this morning, and it goes where? Just above the 200 period moving average to peak E. Then it goes to an F. And then look what happens. The MACD turns down sharply. The stochastic turns down sharply within five or six bars. And you get a failure pattern at a peak F, and it goes way under the 200 period moving average. Then it makes a low. And then I decided I would do this. Now, this is when I started looking at it um, a little later this morning. It already uh, saw a little bit of a rally here at about 530 or so. So I drew in 
a, a green long oblong or rectangle pattern. And then I clicked and I was able to make it the same number of bars to the right side. And it said that somewhere before 9 o'clock this morning, there should be a retest of this low, the actual low right here. That's the low of, what was it again? It was 44.50, round number low. And here it starts to climb and it goes all the way from the stochastic turning up, on balance volume turning up, relative strength turning up, MACD histogram improving, and it goes peak A, B, C. It goes to a D. All of a sudden, that 200 period moving average becomes the magnet line. It goes to a very quick E, F, and G. Remember, I have a rule of thumb that says if you go very quickly to a C, D, or E, an E or a D, E, and F, you got to be careful because there could be a quite a sharp pullback. doesn't say major sell, just a sharp pullback before you go on as its strength again. And it does right at the 200 period moving average. And my rule of thumb, of course, is watch how the left side technicals match the right side technicals. And what happens? It goes right back. It fails under the previous high of that peak G. Uh, it makes a little cup formation or a V-shaped formation, double top at the 200 period moving average. It hasn't been able to close above that. Look, and then kaboom, it comes down and it takes out in a little bit shorter time frame that right side time price time match. And I'll teach you how to, which bars you can use, which candles you can use. And this, it looks like the top is going to be an exact measured move from left side to the right side or the other way around on the upside. And look what happened. It suddenly failed. And this pink line says that it hasn't crossed positive yet. So don't expect any rally to be sustained until 44.53 is held for about two or three bars. All right, and let's just do this. Let's get into our numbers here. We're looking at the, um, I, I spoke about the XLF. Actually, while I'm talking about left side, right side, price time match, look how this is, it's, it's so important. Uh, here's my, this is part of what I'm going to be doing right here. So words, action, technicals, shop, that's Shopify. I heard, funnily enough, I heard, uh, Tommy O'Brien, a fabulous show at nine o'clock. He does it. He puts together the fundamentals with the technicals. He has a really good grasp of how to put these things together. And he was talking about Shopify. And here I am. I'm already working on Shopify for my webinar. Um, why? Because look, it made a high. Now let me just uh, let me get to my. Uh, this is too tiny to look at. Uh, this is part of my prepared slides. Let's go to Shopify right here. I'm taking a little time because I don't think anything's happening right now on the waterfront. So I, I thought this is a good opportunity just to show you some of the things that I'll be doing. So look at this. Yes, Shopify. It makes a high at a peak F in the Chapman Wave methodology. Look, all the technicals, the MACD was good. There's that, that double hump, that right shoulder that said, uh oh, be careful. Because if you start to make a high and the technicals fail, the stochastic goes under 80% very quickly, you could start to see a tumble where it goes to 1762.92. <clears throat> I think it was November, around about the, uh, the 22nd or so. Pulls back. And then four, one, two, three, four, five days later, or six days later, if I remember correctly, I, I didn't write this down. Normally I would write it down, but I, I was really busy at the time. I believe Kramer interviewed the CEO and he was talking about Shopify. They're into everything. Everything's fantastic. Right there. We're at 1600 per day. 612. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So what I was saying is Shopify, uh, the CEO comes on at about 1600. It hit 1762.92, all-time high, just about five days before that. And then what happens is it has a little bit of a tumble. It hung around the 200 period moving. I'll be teaching this on Wednesday, just showing how many, not, not once, not twice, but hundreds of times when a certain moving average becomes important. Uh, up until then, just ignore it. It doesn't matter. But you put it on your chart, and as it starts to hit, look what happened. You had your dreaded H pattern, lowercase h. It fails. It comes back, makes a, makes a sine wave, a sawtooth wave. It goes whoops, up and down, and it finally breaks down. Another arch formation tumbles down and makes a low of 510.02, uh, missed a round number by two cents. On the 14th of March, rallies sharply to 780, round number high, and then pulls back to 607.29, up four points today. But wait a minute, look at the weekly chart, 1650.00. In a weekly chart, it makes two weeks of exact high, round number highs, pulls back, uh, makes the cup formation, and you can see the left side back in July, August of last year was very technically very strong. The stochastic was pulling back a little bit, but it was strong. On balance volume was good, but everything else was very strong. But when it came back and it retested at 1762.92, 100, 102 points higher, it didn't have the veracity. It was weak technically. And then what happened is it makes the arch formation and pulls back. It was actually like an uppercase Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down. And it just tumbled away. It's made a chuff dean the weekly, a peak G in the month, the unusual peak G at, on the uh, November of 2021. And with the Chapman Wave Roman candle, I spoke about this, and it's plummeted down. Now it's made a long-legged doji candle. It's really important within two bars that's in two months it has to see a close and then out of the next three months because we're talking about monthly candles um it needs to close above this high so the high that was made at um, in march of 780.00 it needs to in april or march it needs to close above it and then to say it's turning the corner so the technicals can improve two out of the uh, out of the following three months it needs to close above that. And that's the rule of thumb that I give, and we'll see how that works out. In the meantime, back at the range, if it closes under 510.02, um, that just says, watch out. This is in really serious trouble. Shop, Shopify. Oh, I didn't say what it was. It's called Shopify Inc. 
um, and uh, it does. Oh, what happened to that? Are you? Oh, Shopify Inc. Online store for individuals to use as a platform. All right, there we go. So um, I, I'm told by a lot of people. Uh, I know my, my son thought it was a great company, uh, just on a purely technical basis. That is what they do. That's got nothing to do with the the finances. Just what they do. All right. So here we go. Let's let's go straight to our story. So within the context of where are we in the chat wave methodology and what are we doing in terms of uh, subscribers? Where are we? We are in the long term. We are long starting from the low of March twenty third, twenty twenty. We bought options, and within a week or two, we went into the diamonds. Dow diamonds. We've held the core position there. We've taken some profits off, and in between that, we've been short. We've been long, been short, been long via the DOG one to one short or whatever it is. But we've used it as a trading vehicle. The last entry point was just under thirty three thousand in the Dow, which is the diamonds we bought, and we've got a position there, and we've taken two little bits off just in terms of profit taking because it did get to above the 200 p moving average and it did get to a peak d d is where other things can happen it can go higher but that's where you lift your foot off the brake just to assess exactly what's going on uh, you can hold your position or you can take a little bit off but that's where you want within one three six that's my rule of thumb for um, uh, consolidation patterns you want to be moving higher especially within one bar or two bars, that's fantastic action. But if it takes longer, you're in a consolidation. You basically have to wait for a brand new buy signal to come in to move it into the next uh, phase of the of the up move. All right, and that would be imply that it takes out thirty five thousand three seventy two. Now, within that context, look how important the two hundred period moving average is in the day. Look how many times it's been there. Look, it's been under it. It's refused to close under it. Uh, except for one brief moment, but since it broke above on uh, March the 16th, it hasn't closed below it. So if it does close below it, it says, uh-oh, be careful. Now we're probably in this shorter term phase, going to be pulling back. And it says, now watch the monthly because you don't want this MACD. I'll be teaching about the MACD. You don't want this moving average convergence divergence like it has before, twice already, deflected from the nine, from this uh, nine period differential, the red line. Um, and the histogram is improving. So that is good support. So now what's really important is, I don't want to look at the monthlies right now. They don't mean anything because daily and weekly obviously will uh, um, uh, trump the um, the monthly chart, longer term monthly chart, especially the daily chart. Look at the S and P. So what are we looking at in the Dow? Under thirty four thousand two hundred. Be careful. Closing under thirty four thousand says, uh oh, a down phase is back in place. All right, let's go to the S and P. S and P actually went much higher above the 200 period moving average. It went to a peak D at 4637.30. It's pulled back, trough A, trough B. This is now leg C to the downside. Let's just put that in. Chapman, very easy technique. All we're doing is just putting in the letters. There it is, A, B, and we're in the way on the way down to a leg C. Now, the fact that the S&P is down 0.85%, the Dow is only down 0.23%, and the QQQ is down 1.5%. That kind of divergence says the selectivity of the Dow 30, which is the reason why I love the Dow 30 so much, is because the Dow has a different characteristic in that it's only 30 stocks. S&P is 500, QQQ is NDX 100, uh, the, I, the IWM is really much bigger. It is the small caps, I think something like 2,000 stocks. Um, so there's a big difference, and I do respect that. I am not one of those people that says, oh, what I'm saying is that's the way it is. No, I say each individual area has to be looked at. So as I'm looking at this, there are reasons for me based on the monthly charts. I don't want to go to them right now. Based on the monthly charts, Based on, I'm going to do this just if I can do it really quickly. Um, I, it isn't the speed that I need right now. I just want to be. I've got so many. I've got so many charts up, and um, 
windows. I just don't want to overdo things and have something stick and then all of a sudden I lose all my data in my trade session because I have to shut it down and those notations get uh, sometimes get lost. Uh, so because it's not automated, every single notation you see is me personally doing it. And it doesn't take more than a few moments, but yep, I do it. All right, so here we go. This is the 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 triple yield chart. I'm sorry, subscribers, on on Saturday when I did my big overview over just about a, it was over an hour. I I put this up and then I think I forgot to talk about it. But look at this. This is the five year the F V X cyan colored five year T note yield. It's gone to even a higher high today. Uh, today's high is I think twenty. 27. Oh, is that 48? Let me just check what it is. 20. 28.22. 2.822. That's the five year. It's over the 14 and it's over the 30 year. And that's having an effect on, on, on the market, but not the kind of effect that you would expect. And I'll talk about that as soon as we return. So I wanted to talk about that because we are talking about, talking about is there any chance we can make higher high? Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. So we're looking at the yields. So I had a question about uh, the yields. Could can you try to explain? I'm really not. I'm not a, you know an economist in the sense that I can talk to about the yields. The fundamentals about yields. I can just tell you that yields uh, at this point in the two point or three percent area or four percent area 
for those of us who have seen yields up in the 15, 16, 17% uh, area, and this is, you've got to be thinking relatively. In the time that we're in right now, going from a low of, uh, let's go to the 30 year, let's go to the 30 year, the low that was made somewhere around, uh, anywhere around there, uh, that would be the 30 year would be 1197, 1.197. Uh, way back in whatever that was, that was 2020, it was March of 2020 as we made the market lows. So go to that yield and you see the yield now at about 2.7 something, right? Um, that is a big change and it's the change that, that frustrates and, and really irritates and, and upsets the market. That's the thing, it's a, you've got to, you know, it's like looking back and so, oh, yeah, when we used to live on Marlborough Street in the Back Bay in the 1970s, we could have bought the entire building for 47000 You can't do that. Now, one, one apartment, one condo, change to condos, must be $1.5 million or something like that. There's just no way. What? It's like saying, oh, I could, you know, I once did a webinar. I, I know I did a, a that's right. I here in Boston. I was asked for the T I I. What was it called? The Investors Something of America. Um, I was asked to uh, say I, every once in a while I get asked to sit in there, and I, I was talking. I was talking about all these different things, and and um, a guy comes up to me afterwards. He says, "Well, first of all, he asked me about Apple during the show, and I spoke about Apple, and then he came up afterwards and he said, oh, you know, my wife and I we bought.'" A few thousand shares of Apple, our co average cost was $8. And I'm saying to myself, then why did you even come to, <laughs> why would you even bother coming to something like this? Of course, he was just intrigued by uh, you know, the markets, etc. But at $8, um, so look back is really important. You've got to, you've got to talk about the the factors that were in place at the time of the incident or whatever it is you can't go back and 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 and, and have a multitude of time frames and say oh man if i this if i that could have would have should have is just it doesn't work right now this is irritating the market this is upsetting to the market that the yields in leg d in the weekly chart this is the uh, the d is for the 30 year that's the white one which is be oh now it's not being covered by the uh, blue but it's still above the th can you believe the five year cyan right here is being is covering the the 10 year and the 30 year yield so the question is Yields, what, what is yields all about? Yields is the differential between um, the cost of borrowing something. That's just the way I always look at it. So if you want to buy a house, um, what the yield is, the yield is made up of a profit that's made up of the, le the lender, and it can change. So that's all we're looking at. And really what we're looking at in this particular instance is we, why would the market tank when in, in November of 2018, the yield was 3.45, the 30 year was 34.55, that's 3.455 because of the conditions, these current conditions. So I want to just quickly do that. It wasn't so quick, but I wanted to explain that it is only relative it is the cost of doing business, and that's what we're looking at. And the fact that the 30-year uh, is underneath the, the, is it underneath the 10? I don't know if it is under the 10. It's close. It, it's just barely above the 10-year. It's just saying to you that there is a certain demand in certain sectors that is, uh, it, 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 there is more demand for the lower price, and the lower price says that why should I put my money in 30 years when I can do it for five or 10, all right? Now, the other thing is, and that's probably not, not a, that's just the way I'm looking at it, but at the same time, I'm sure there are way more sophisticated and more accurate ways of looking at it. I'm just saying that's the way I'm looking at it. Look at the wood, the iShares Global and Timber Forestry, up today, stuck in that range, in a beautiful range, 
Uh, it looks like high grade copper, which is pulling back, but still up in the range. And this is international uh, uh, market activity, global timber and forestry, and a global copper. So that's saying you can't just ignore that things are just so bad everywhere. Something's going on. But look at the housing. If you look at the HGX, this is the Philadelphia Housing Index, underneath the major support level, having a nice session today. It's at 5.43 at 400.81. But uh, that's where we got to, and now now comes to the question that I really wanted to deal with, and the, and I'm going to just close this space to close the workspace. There we go. Save. Yep. Always save. 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 Yes to all. Now the big question is yields, because if yields actually start to pull back, meaning the TLT is going to rally. Let's just go to my Chapman, Chapman wave. This is, I'll show this, but I don't have any techniques that I can give out publicly because this is something that was done for me privately. And I, the person, unfortunately, I died, and I don't know all the technical details, but I, I gave spe spe specifics for using the MACD and the stochastic to build um, automated resistance and support levels. This is, this is 10 minutes, this is a daily, this is the weekly. This is the um, monthly, and that's the 120-minute chart. This is the SMHs, trying to form a base at 243.93, trading at 243.00. So it's going to be difficult, 241 on the 10-minute. Anyway, so look at the TLT. And the big question really, and it's a fabulous question, when you think, not, not, this is someone else asked, when you think we'll get a turnaround and will it last in the yields? Well, you know, markets tend to get bored at a certain point with something. So I don't see yet how they can get bored with the yields. The TLT is still declining. And if you look, it's broken through all these different support levels, 125.90, 126.58. That's the daily. I don't have anything right now. It's already gone below the 10-minute chart. 124.29 in the 120-minute chart, and it's already below that. Then I get to the monthly 125.02. It's below that, 112.42. And that's just saying to me, that yields are probably going to be uh, rising. Let's go to the TBT, see if the resistance levels. Look, the TBT, which is the inverse of the TLT 20-year uh, Treasury, uh, Lehman 20 Treasury bond fund. Now it's the inverse. has broken through all the resistance levels, which are now supported, 22.49 and 22.17. 24.83 is the next resistance in the weekly, and 23.71 is the resistance in the daily and the high today is 2336. So we're getting to a point where it could be resistance. We're testing the 120 minute chart, but let's look at it in a different way. Let's look, oh, oh time's flying. I've still got a lot of questions to answer. Let's look at it in a slightly different way. Let's go to the individual and we go to the tenure and you'll see there is a resistance line and I showed this in my webinar coming up how you control left side, right side price time matches. Uh, let me get to that right. So here's the TNX, the 10 year. I'll talk about it as soon as we return. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So let me just go through this real quick. This is the weekly TNX is the 10 year. You can see I chose to make this a midpoint a long time ago. Um, and the, the highs that I was looking at was round about 2779. That was way back in uh, early 2019. And I had a measured move and I got the Chapman wave inside wedge target resistance line. This is the green line, which said that somewhere between now and January, oh, sorry, between the, the, the price point of August where I made that the, the plumb line, the fulcrum for the left side, right side price time match, we should be making a, some kind of a test of the 28s, uh, 20, sorry, 27s. The high so far today is 27.80. And you can see I drew in and I, I typed in 27.79. So it's one penny above that. And it's done it in one bar, uh, uh, Two bars late for the left side, right side price time match, but in the inside wedge, this is exactly the area that we were thought it would. So these are techniques that just simple techniques that I will be showing and how you can use. Uh, enough with that. Now let's get to the nitty gritties of. So just for subscribers, and it's very interesting because what we've done over the last couple of weeks is that we've been raising cash. We've got a, a pretty high cash position. We've got positions in the market uh, that are doing pretty nicely. And the most important thing right now is that there are certain stocks that I want to get that have held really well. One in particular I spoke about on Saturday in my, in my uh, video, overview video, and I was going to do it. And I thought, should I do it today? Should I do it? one that held so well in, in an area that could, in fact, Oh, take one of our uh, scientific um, uh, scientific stocks that have a scientific basis for the, for their um, operations, um, and just switch it out into something that also has been in a more a, a functioning area. Unfortunately, I didn't do it today, and it's already moved up a point. But that just tells me that you can't just blindly say that this is this is a market that is everything's going down because not everything is going down. There are certain areas that are holding extremely well. So with that said, a couple of things we want to look at. I've got a couple of questions, and I'm going to just quickly answer some of them. Um, uh, Basil, you spoke about uh, DEA um, uh, recently, that you had got into it. Um, uh, wh what do you think of it here? Is it worth, is it worth starting a position? Uh, DE. So DE, we are we are long from around about the 387 level. It hit 437 about two weeks ago. It pulled back quite sharply. It's holding really nicely. Look at the nine period exponential moving average above the 14. But this is where you've got to be careful because as I say, we are not the stock. We are just following the price movement as best we can. And so far, the last three days, 
after the doji candle Thursday, nice candle Friday, and a good follow through on the upside today. My biggest concern is that in a rectangle formation, once it breaks out above it, it mustn't come back and break underneath the previous high support, 400.34 back in May, the week of May the 5th, um, May, May the 14th of 2021. And the last move down went to um, 401.82. So it's just a belly above it, and now it's holding. The longer it holds above this rectangle, the greater the chances are this rect rectangle is going to become a springboard for a move even higher. It is in leg C in the monthly chart. It's got the Chapman Wave methodology that I call, it's the um, stalk leg formation, which could turn into a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. I don't even want to get carried away by talking about that because the daily chart's making a cup. And even if it's a successful cup, it has to fill in the gap uh, from the other day, and it has to it has to break well above 437.98. So my answer is, I at 421 dollars, I don't know if I want you to put your money to work in that area because if it stalls at 437, 10 points higher, and then might makes the rectangle higher rectangle formation, that's going to be tough. I'd prefer if you either look at options. That's one way to do it. And I'd be looking not at March, I'd be looking at, uh, not at April, I'd be looking at something like um, May. Not too far, not too, not too near, but somewhere in May, number one. Number two is, I don't know whether Deere and company tractors, farm equipment, there's a chance that they're absolutely in the perfect scenario, but there are supply shortages. We're looking at the um, uh, shippers, the shippers, have, they've just started moving nicely over the last couple of days, but basically they've stalled. They're not breaking to new highs. So this is telling me that this is the market issue that we're dealing with right now. You remember what we say, uh, market, people say market hates uncertainty. I say every day it's uncertainty. It hates uncertainty about uncertainty. And right now, we're kind of twice removed. We've got rates, we've got oil, although oil's pulling back. But we've got the war. At some point, is America going to be drawn in deeper than it would like to be? There are a lot of things going on. And that's the reason why we've raised a lot of cash, because I think under these conditions, unless you're in the select areas that are working, um, having cash ready to just put to work when you think, and you don't have to put it all to work. So the answer is, dear, I like it. I like the way it's acting right now. If it was $42, think of it as a $42 stop, not $421. That shouldn't change your, it shouldn't change anything. I'm just talking about money management right now. So why? Because I think it's going to have resistance in the 435 to 437 if it can get there. Of course, at 421 to 437, 42 to 43 is nice. That's, it's, it's a nice little percentage there. But I don't know if you want to put your money. Think about whether you, if, you, if you're prepared, you're like dear. I like it on a monthly basis. There's a lot that I like about it. Look, the, the MACD in the weekly chart is fabulous. The stochastic's at 87%, but it is pulling back a little bit. Um, it, it's, it's holding really well. So this, if, you are, if you want to get into it right now at 40, 421, I would actually have a stop, even though it's kind of a starter position on something that could work even better. I'd say under 418. Now, nah, if you're just in it for the first time, you're going to have a bigger stop. If it can hold between 416 and 414, just go sideways using that as a base and then have a sudden spike to 431. That's fantastic. That's the action you want to see. So starting here, 421, for the moment, let's say 414 is going to be a stop for you. Yeah, give it a 3%, 4% on that position. Uh, that's the way I would look at it. I do like it. I'm just saying that you've got really uh, unusual market conditions that we don't know. We just don't know about the ports. Are they starting to uh, release some of those goods that were just uh, being held for so long? Uh, is is Are the tractors, is that an issue? Do you know Are there supplies that are not getting there? I don't know. And because of that, I'm just saying the action is still pretty damn good. But uh, I'd be a little careful, that's all, in how much you put to work. Okay, the next thing I want to look at is um, within the context of the different patterns that we're looking at is if you look at the XLE, 
and this is, I'm going to talk a lot about the XLE, this rectangle, the large rectangle formation that starts to move in a stair-step way towards the previous high should technically go to a leg D in a shorter time frame, which is already done. But even in the core position that you're looking at, in this case, the daily chart with a high of 80.22, we're at 78.04. I suspect that I'm going to be able to draw in a rectangle formation with a sideways move in uh, the XLE for a little bit longer before it finally breaks to the upside. So XLE uh, should go through the leg D in the next day or two, and that will be just above. Remember, the rule of thumb is it goes just Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Uh, yes, uh, I mentioned in the uh, Dan Corn, C-O-R-N, is trading really well. I made that peak D and made the rectangle formation, and now it's in an A, B, C, D. It's in leg E to the upside in the daily, leg D in the weekly, and leg C, only a C in the t uh corn fund. Uh, and DBA also mentioned here, we are long, still long the DBA. I uh, love the action, but this rectangle formation uh, can last a lot longer than patient, uh, patience unless it decisively breaks above. In this case, 2264 was the peak G. Uh, that was made around about the uh, 5th or the 7th of uh, March, and then it pulled back, and now it's made a big A with an arch formation, another one with an arch formation, but today's action broke out, so this is actually turns out to be leg B. Now, this could be something completely different because um, it's already in a leg B in the daily, 
So I'm just going to draw this. I always like to say two patterns always fighting. In this case, the arch with a rectangle. So far, this is good. And look, the MACD just crossed positive today in the daily chart. That's a big sign. And the stochastic still a little bit weak at 71%. So there could be room to the upside. And there's the weekly peak E with a... Um, sideways move remember i discussed this before the left side right side match where it held and then it started to move higher but it took its time to break out this is db agricultural fund iyt absolutely keep your eye on the iyt it's trying to rally today it's up one at 242.13 but it's gone straight down from the 276 ish area uh, back in the beginning of the end of March, down to the low, even today's low of 230, what is it, 230, wow, Two, 239, that, that low is just, it's an incredible move, straight down, what was it, 11 sessions, so there's a lot to be careful of, and we've raised cash, because you've got to be careful here, but the monthly charts, I don't want to look at them right now, the monthly charts are saying, Keep an eye on what happens in the third week of April. That's going to be really important. Um, have a wonderful rest of the day. I'll be back for the uh, Tom O'Brien show at 3 o'clock. And we've got a pro wonderful program. We've got Larry Pizzavento.